we're still in our l8start.ai document and uh, first let's go up here to the layers panel and click on the eyeball for the face layer and make sure that all the layers are visible. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to copy some content from another Illustrator file and paste it into this one. So let's go into the file menu to open and we'll go in the lesson 8 folder and choose details.ai and click open. Go into the view menu and choose fit all in window. Okay, we see there's just one artboard in this document. Let's go up to the layers panel and we see there are four layers in the layers panel. Looks very well organized. We'll click on the twirly for each layer and we'll see that each layer has contents just as if they were folders. Okay, and every layer is visible and um, no layers are locked, so that means we can select everything. Let's go into the select menu and choose select all or use the shortcut command A or control A and now we have everything selected on that artboard and we're going to go under the edit menu to copy. Okay, and we'll go back to our previous document and before we paste into this document we want to go to the layers panel and go to the layers panel menu click on the layers panel menu button up here and we want to make sure that paste remembers layers is checked so if yours is not make sure it is um, and paste remember remembers layers means that when we paste something into this document it'll keep the very same layers that it had in the previous document which is good just what we want so now we're going to go to the edit menu and instead of choosing paste we're going to choose paste in front that means these objects will be pasted in the exact same position they were in in the previous document so we'll choose paste in front and there we go we've got that content in this document now and I'm going to go up to the layers panel and close the face layer okay we can see that those four layers from the other document have been added to this layers panel good and they are above the two layers as usual uh, above the two layers that we're in that we're already in this layers panel okay so let's go into the select menu to deselect and what we're going to do now is we're going to change the stacking order of layers in this document and so first we're going to move the frame layer so we'll click on the frame layer and we're going to move it up above the highlight layer now so I so I click and drag on the frame layer and move it up, but I don't want to see those two big black triangles on the highlight layer. I want to move up above the highlight layer and until I see a little tiny black triangle and then release the mouse. Okay, now the frame layer is above the highlight layer. And the next thing I want to do is move the face layer. So first I'll click on the face layer and I'm going to move that up above the frame layer. So I click and drag and I want to make sure I don't drop it into the frame layer but I want to drop it off above the frame layer and there we go now the face layer is above the frame layer and next I want to move the highlight layer so I'll select on the highlight layer and I want to move it in between the face and frame layer so I'm going to click on the highlight layer and move it up in between until I see a little double horizontal line and in between the two that tells me I'm getting ready to drop it off in between the two. I release the mouse. Good. Now the highlight layer is in between the face layer and the frame layer. And I'm going to go up and click on the twirly on the face layer and look at the contents. And next what I'd like to do is move the hands and brand layer up there. So I'm going to click on the hands layer and hold down the shift key in order to select the brand layer and the hands layer at the same time and I want to move them both up above the path layer inside the face layer in between numbers and path so I'm going to click on the hands layer and move it up between the two until I see that double horizontal line in between numbers and path and I release the mouse and good now I've got the hands and brand layers in between the numbers layer and the path layer okay Next we're going to put a map on the face of this clock and we're going to create a clipping mask so that the parts of the map that, si that stick outside the circles will not show. Okay, first let's go over here to the layers panel and click on the map layer 
uh, and we're going to move that up above the path layer inside the face layer. So I'll click on the map layer, drag it up above the path layer inside the face layer, wait until I see that double horizontal line, and then release the mouse. Okay, now we've got the map layer above the path layer inside the face layer, and um, let's go ahead and click on the target on the path layer. So on the path layer here we click on that little circle on the path layer and now we see that the circle has become two concentric circles and there's also a selected item icon on the path layer. And if we look on the artboard we see that an object has been selected on the artboard. Now what we'd like to do is use the shape of the path to make a clipping mask. And we have to make a copy in order to do that because we want to keep the original path the way it is now and use the copy for a clipping mask because when you use a shape for a clipping mask um, the appearance changes. In other words, if the path was stroked with a color the stroke would disappear once it becomes a clipping mask. So we want to make sure and save the original path and use a copy for the shape of the clipping mask. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, a cop <coughs> we're going to make a copy by holding down the Option key or the Alt key, which tells Illustrator we want to make a copy, and then we're going to click on that selected item icon, that little tiny square that's on the path layer. We'll hold down the Option key or Alt key, click on that little tiny square, and move it up on top of the map layer. Okay, the original is still where it is. But if I click on the twirly on the map layer, I see that a copy of the path has been added above the other contents of the map layer. So good. We've got a copy of that shape. And what we're going to do is, first of all, close the map layer. So click on the little twirly. Uh, hide the contents of the map layer. Make sure the map layer is still selected and we're going to use the Layers panel in order to make a clipping mask. So if we go down here to the bottom of the Layers panel, we see that the first button here is the Make or Release Clipping Mask. So we'll click on the Make Clipping Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel and come back over here and look on our artboard and we see, sure enough, the shape of the path has made a clipping mask and hidden the map that's outside the shape of the circle. So we can go into the Select menu to deselect, and there's our clock.